Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. In today's episode, we're continuing to look at signs of spring like reptiles as they bask in the sun in order to raise their body temperature and bird song. Why do birds sing in the spring? Stay with me.
it's so exciting. I'm out here with all of this wild bird song. Um, we're not even out of April yet. We're about third week of April and the forest is just alive with all of the birds. So I'm going to try and see if I can video some of the singers <laughs> so you can see who the stars are of this amazing dawn chorus. Nothing beats being out here in the woods by yourself, where you just get to hear the sounds of nature. Um, bird song, which is what the forest and the field is bursting with right now, is uh, bird song. Now, one of the most important reasons that birds sing is so that they are doing this primarily during their breeding season, uh, which takes place in the summer in the temperate zone here in Canada. So couple of reasons. Male birds sing initially to attract a mate. So females will size up the male based on his ability to sing a song well. The second reason is during the actual nesting season, he is providing sort of a, a, an auditory cue as to where his territory is. So wherever the nesting site is, he wants to protect his site, his mate, his family, from the insurgence of others of the same species because they're going to be competing for the same food supply. So you hear the ongoing singing taking place after the initial meeting up of the mates until about August. August is when you start hearing the, the forest quiet down because there isn't as much need for bird song. Typically by then the young have fledged or have uh, developed an ability to look after themselves. So that's the reason that birds sing.
Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> The exciting thing about this time of year is without the foliage out fully on the trees and bushes, I can still see wildlife through the branches. This is also the time of year when you can see that wildflowers are taking advantage of the time of year when foliage is not blocking sunlight from reaching the forest floor. And so we get to see beautiful things like trilliums that are starting to blossom. I visited the home of a friend of mine to witness his success at helping some nesting bird species. He erected this bluebird box and as such, citizens are tasked with monitoring their nesting success. So he views the eggs once a week and records the progress. The parents returned to the nest a minute after we left just to make sure that their eggs were still okay. He also built a shelf for Eastern Phoebes to use since they're quite tolerant of people and often build their nest around buildings anyway. So this pair set to work right away to build on the platform that he made for them. And you can see one of the characteristic things you'll notice about Phoebe nests, they use moss as their nesting material. Thanks for joining me on today's Hiking with Kathleen. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the bird footage the turtle footage. Um, I'm always fascinated by wildlife and how they present themselves to me as I'm out on my hikes. I hope you find that intriguing as well. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. That helps the YouTube... My, that's a loud song sparrow. <laughs> that helps the YouTube algorithm know that there's other people like you that enjoy seeing nature videos uh, on YouTube. So, thanks for joining me. See you next Tuesday morning. Bye for now. Thank you.